The County Board is committed to fiscal responsibility. It's one of our core values that influence everything we do. Lake County has a balanced budget, AAA bond rating, and low debt service. We are also consistently implementing financially prudent measures. For example, the board recently approved refinancing bonds to take advantage of a favorable market, which will produce a savings of about one and a half million dollars. One of the tools that the county uses for major capital projects is borrowing through bond issuances to undertake large scale projects. In 2008, the county borrowed money for some capital projects. It's the equivalent of a home mortgage or a home loan. And we have the opportunity to refinance that loan at savings. We anticipate through this uh, refinancing to save between a million and a half and two million dollars over the 10 years that remain on that bond issuance. It won't increase the amount we borrow and it won't increase the years, but it will have significant savings for the taxpayers in Lake County. Lake County also continues to deliver on the County Board's adopted values of exceptional service and operational excellence by implementing operational efficiencies that improve the way we provide services and also save money. A recent example of this is in the area of permitting. Over the past several years, departments that issue permits have worked together to improve customer service by integrating countywide permits and approving permits at a one-stop shop and online. The County Board recently took this a step further by moving a number of permits into the fast track lane. So here at the Central Permit Facility we take in several different types of permits. The two main that we take in are submittal based permits and fast track permits. Submittal based are more complex types of permits. A fast track permit on the other hand is a more simple permit. It's less complex and intake review and approval take place right here at the permit counter typically in under 30 minutes. These permits are also offered online. Some examples of some current fast track permits that we have, we've got about 30 right now, um, include roofing and siding, sheds, um, temporary food permits, and water and sewer disconnection permits. Fast track permitting is a time saver for our customers because customers do not have to make a second trip back to the campus. That's really a big savings for them. Everything is done on the spot right here at the permit counter. Streamlining processes reduces intake time and saves the county both time and labor savings with regard to staffing. And it allows for staff to shift focus from permit intake to perhaps working on more departmental projects, programmatic work, or even sharing services between departments. This means as county employees, we continue to strive to find improvements, streamline processes, and ultimately work to improve our customer service. Bass Track Permitting is a great example of this commitment. Another example of the County Board's commitment to increase efficiencies and cost savings is in the area of Regional 911 Consolidation. The County Board recently adopted a resolution confirming its continued commitment to provide policy leadership, staff resources, and approve $30,000 in funding towards the next phase of the consolidation effort. This includes hiring a project manager to work with the group on developing specific implementation strategies for 911 consolidation. This includes a governance structure to serve as the decision-making body on behalf of all participating communities, cost-sharing model, and developing and adopting best practices. Studies show that consolidating many 911 centers into a few regional 911 centers will improve quality, efficiency, and provide cost savings. In other recent County Board action, the County Board approved naming the newly constructed pedestrian bridge connecting the new courthouse in downtown Waukegan to the Lake County building to commemorate the legacy and service of Lake County Board District 14 member Audrey H. Nixon. After more than 35 years of service to Lake County, Audrey passed away in April last year. She served as the longtime chair of the County Board's Law and Judicial Committee and was a passionate and dedicated community leader and champion for justice. The pedestrian bridge symbolizes Board Member Nixon's effort to forge cooperation and collaboration among the justice partners and the Lake County Board and staff. The new commemorative display will be designed, installed, and funded through private donations. And she used to always tell me, you know, this job is not easy. You have some time, you have to make some tough decisions. She said, but when you make the decision, make sure they're right where you can sleep at night. And she, she, really, she really worked hard in this, in, for the county. She worked inside here, she worked outside. So it's, 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 it's just a blessing to know that 
we're doing this for her. And to view all county board meeting videos and access agenda items, please visit our website.